Last time on Ghost of Tsushima. father carried my mother out to sit with the deer like this. And I played this song. It was messy and broke the rules. But it was one I wrote. She opened her eyes and smiled at me. I wanted to tell her everything I would ever say to her. But she knew. She said, not all words need to be spoken. Hola amigos ghost here and today we continue the story of the ghost. We have visited the final Shinto shrine among Tsushima and Iki Islands. We have completed the final set of bamboo strikes and hot springs. And we restored peace to the deer, cat and monkey sanctuaries. In doing so, gaining powerful charms and learning more about our mother. Now we travel to the eastern shores of Iki to investigate a recent shipwreck and understand what happened there. Let's do this! Troubled Waters. A ship is attacking people on the western coast with volleys of burning arrows. Possibly a Mongol vessel armed with Wacha cannons. Worth looking into. Our rewards are minor legend increase, a minor utility charm, and ten linen. Let's do this! Burning ship. Signs of a battle. I should investigate. Wreckage from the ship. A survivor? Not much time. Who did this? Mongols? No. A rival band. Traitors. Yamaneko and his crew made a deal with the Mongols. Mongols armed them with Wacha. Who are these raiders? Where can I find them? Uh, ask Sugi. She, she can help. The village to the south, Red Casa had won her. Uh, they're coming. Uh. Troubled waters. Just run! Yamaneko's crew. Come to kill the survivors. Recruit more raiders. <laughs> Must be the village. Hmm. I should ask around. Someone must know this Sugi with the red kasai hat. Are you all right? Leave us alone. A lot of smoke. 
He died because of me. Your father fell in battle saving his only son. His reward is a warrior's death. Now you will carry on his legacy. Did I make you proud, father? Signs of an attack. Looks recent. Looks like watch a fire. Maybe from the same boat that attacked me on the beach. Someone is living here. Still warm. Locked. You're looking for me? Why? I mean you no harm, Sugi. My name is Jin. I was sent to warn you. The vessel that fired on your village belongs to someone named Yamaneko. I need your help to stop them. They know I'm here. That means... Should we leave? Draw them away? No! No! We don't know anything! It's too late. Pack our things. Be ready to go when I return. Come with me, Jin. Come back to me. I'll avoid unnecessary risk. It's the first time for everything, I suppose. Sugi! Yamaneko sends his regards. Sebe! You always were his lapdog. <laughs> How do you like our new allies? Soon, we'll be the most powerful crew on this island. Kill them all! Yamaneko's crew are careful, well armed, only dock at a specific time and location. I take it you've met. I was his first mate, kept him from indulging his worst tendencies, for a time. When I met Sampe, I didn't want to be that person anymore. But you don't just leave Yamaneko. Tell me where his ship docks. I'll handle them. We work together, or not at all. Just remember that goes both ways. You're good with a blade. I have an idea we might be able to pull off, but I need to scout around first. Track down an old contact. There's an abandoned fishing village to the west. I'll meet you there. Good luck. Hmm. <laughs> you too. And with that, we have completed Troubled Waters. And we gain the Charm of Fleet Foraging. 15% chance of quickfire ammo recovery on a melee kill. Actually, that is a quite a powerful char uh, minor charm, honestly, if you think about it. It may be only 15% chance, but since you many of the combat encounters have like 10, 15 enemies... There is all there's it's guaranteed at least one of those kills will give you some of your quick fire ammo back. Quite powerful for stealth, tr melee builds, and range builds because you could always use those quick fire ammunitions for any of those type of builds. So, pretty powerful. And of course, the 10 linen. And it looks like the next main mission actually already um well it doesn't start but it already automatically puts it up we are tracking it i mean that's what that's what i meant to say we'll definitely take a look at that momentarily but 
I noticed this lighthouse right here. I believe is one of the two remaining lighthouses that we can do. Yep. Thieves Arrest Lighthouse. And there's Mongols here. Time to clear these bastards out. Didn't they hear the battle that happened up just above us? Oh, oh, oh god, oh god, not now! A disgrace to clan sucker. Did you hide like this when your father was killed? Quiet. There we go. <laughs> Jesus. And I'm pretty sure that's all of them. Yep. All right. Up to the top of the lighthouse we go. Soon. It will soon end. But for now, we will be plagued by those nightmares, those visions. But either way, we can easily say that another section of Iki Island has been liberated from the Mongols, even though it's not a actual liberation like some of the side activities. This lighthouse is, is secured, and that village, despite its terribly rough condition because of the fire attack, is also liberated. I doubt the Mongols will return from to this area. Oh, is that something? Oh, it's a record! You know what? Let's pick this up. And let's see what it's about. Fragment of a letter to an unknown follower. There are tribes greater in numbers than ours. Masters of the bow, horse, and blade, and others who earned untold wealth plying the Silk Road. But the Eagle Tribe is known for the blessing of the eternal blue sky, the bounty of Mother Earth, and the wisdom and ferocity of the spirits. The medicine gives those trained in its use deep insight. But it can also reveal the darkness of a place, a people, a nation, a power far greater than any weapon. Strike a man, and you arouse anger and hatred. Now you must take his life, or, or subdue him. But show a man his greatest weakness, horrifying fears, and buried pain, and he will fall to his knees and beg you to save him. That is the power of the Eagle Tribe. That is one of the best things I've read. <laughs> of all the records, that's that was one of the pretty co pretty cool ones, and it very much explains why the Eagle Tribe is one is powerful and why it was one of the main tribes to join in this invasion in this universe. Obviously, I don't think the Eagle Tribe is an actual tribe of Mongols in history when these, with these invasions, but still, it's still this is very cool, a very cool record. Glad I noticed that before I went down this uh, lighthouse. But that that was amazing. <laughs> uh. Alrighty then, now it's time to go meet up with our contact. Do this without you. Let's meet with Sugi. Bloodletting. Sugi revealed she was once a member of Yama Neko's crew, a band of raiders who have gained watchas from the Mongols. After I helped her stop their attack on her village, she agreed to help me break up their alliance. Our rewards are minor legend increase, a minor melee charm, and four leather. Let's do this!
This is the place Sugi mentioned. Where is she? More of Yamaneko's crew. I'll deal with them. Quite a sight. You're not a samurai or ronin. What exactly are you? Someone like you. Who knows what it's like to be hunted. I scouted the cove. Yamaneko's crew are trading captives for Mongol watchers. Treasonous slavers. We can't let them have more Mongol weapons. Yes. We'll need to split up. Distract the forces on the beach. I'll take a boat out. I've been slipping aboard ships undetected since I was a child. If Yamaneko is as dangerous as you say... He's my responsibility. Yamaneko is... my brother. Killing your own family... It's harder than you could ever imagine. Yes. All right. I'll head up the coast to where the Mongols and raiders are camped. Find some way to deal with them all. I can take over their watchers. And even the odds for you. Good. If we make it look like the raiders have betrayed the Mongols, they should turn on each other. I'll send you a signal of where to aim. Hmm. A little flower into their campfire will make it flare. Good luck, Sugi. Hmm. You too. Bloodletting. There's a lookout post nearby. I can't leave until... I'll take care of them first. Meet me on the northern coast afterward. Once night falls, Suki can row out to the ship. Better look around. I'll use that campfire to signal Sugi. Direct her watch attack. Yamaneko's crew and the Mongols. Working together. This alliance ends here. Time to signal Sugi.
did this. That should set the Mongols against Yamaneko's crew. Yamaneko's crew will be an example to others. Don't side with the Mongols. Now to meet Sugi up the coast to the north. No sign of Sugi's boat. Hope Sugi wasn't on board. I had. Farewell, Sugi. I wish you better fortune in the afterlife. And with that, we've completed bloodletting. And we gained Sugi's Casa Hat. Perhaps all that remains of Sugi, I should bring this to her husband in the village near the eastern lighthouse let's take a look it's a nice hat i will bring it back to her husband i hope you find peace in the afterlife oh and but if you somehow did survive i hope we could see you again now we also got the charm of descending talents. Jump attacks can stagger and knock down enemies. Attacking from greater heights yields greater damage. It's a minor melee charm of course, and honestly, not sure what kind of build it would go to, but it could be probably pretty powerful if you are a daredevil and try to jump attack from a certain height. Indeed, that's where we're going to go immediately. What happened here? A note from Sugi. It's safer for everyone if I just disappear. I suspect no one understands that more than you. 
May we both live lives free from being hunted. <laughs> she survived. Good luck, Sugi. To both of us. Sugi's Casa hats, worn by the illustrious former raider. And now we have her hats. And she did survive after all. And it looks like her husband also went into hiding. So we won't be able to give this hat back to her. Or back to him, I mean. Well, hopefully she and her husband find peace. Now we have a new item to our collection. Nice hat. It is a nice hat. Not sure what build I would use it with. But it's nice to have it. The next thing that we're going to be doing for today's chapter is all of the unwritten tales of Icky Island, aka the common courtesy tales. Now, it says there's five of them, but there actually is six of them in total. But only five of them count to getting a trophy if you have yet to actually get the trophy for the Icky Island expansion. Of course, I already have the trophy, but I'm just explaining that there's actually six of them, not five. And we've actually done one of them already at the very beginning of the I Icky Island expansion, which is right here. And if we go out of the map, is bearing the ship captain, our ship captain, with the wreckage of our ship when we first arrived on Nicky Island. That is one of the common courtesy tales slash unwritten tales. And now I will show you the other five. The second unwritten tale is roughly around here, just south of Fune's Refuge and within the old gambler's woods. Help! Please! What's the matter? I've been providing honey to local healers to help treat infected wounds. Someone must have informed the Mongols. A large group's heading this way. You should leave immediately. I, I can't. The original hive was damaged. These starter hives are all that's left. I write them poems. Sing to them sometimes. I won't abandon them. Mm. Take shelter inside while I hold off the Mongols. Angry bees may be a help. Hey! Stay inside. No. The bees and I thank you, my lord. <laughs> While I was inside, I wrote a poem in your honor. <laughs> Noble honeybees, he defends our hives and queens. Do not sting him, please. Your dedication is uniquely inspiring. Suppose you can tell we don't get many visitors. Uh, 
Did he just teleport? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Man, man's is a ninja. Man's is supernatural. That was weird. <laughs> uh, but no, that is the second unwritten tale, and it's a quite little fun one. It, it's it's another way of showing how Jin is helping the people, uh, and how other people are helping the people that are surviving the Mongol invasion. Honey, back in the day, was I don't know if it's still used in. But it used to be helpful somewhat in wo in uh, healing wounds and such, and it's 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 very cool that that is uh, kind of shown with this in the sense of just what he is actually doing. But yeah, that is uh, the second unwritten tale. The third unwritten tale is roughly around here, just north of Senjo Gorge. This place. Something brought me here. My father burned this house in search of raiders. How could I have forgotten? You do not belong here. I know you, samurai. The land has not yet recovered since last you came. How many trees and vines and grasses have burned? At your hands. More than I care to admit. But I haven't come to Iki to do more harm. Then go. Let nature heal without your intrusion. The Mongols do not respect human life, let alone a blade of grass. I can stop them from destroying this land again. Leave it better than I found it. <laughs> You'll make it better with your absence. But if you will not be dissuaded, come. There, Mongols destroy the forest to fuel their conquest. Remove them, and then remove yourself. I can't see through the fog, but I hear them. I'll make sure they don't trouble the forest any longer. Hello? How could she hide so quickly? Tracks. Hmm. Hear me. I hope I have protected the land the way I did not as a boy. This note's addressed to me. If a man is to heal, so must the land. One of the more interesting little tales. Either that was a vengeful spirit slash just a normal spirit of some kind guiding us, or if that was an actual person and they know who we were. Very, a very interesting and unique tale that leaves it very open to interpretation. It would be kind of interesting if it was a spirit that literally that would explain how she just disappeared Batman style right behind us. I mean, granted, we can kind of do that, but nowhere near as fast. So it's very interesting. But yeah, that was the third unwritten tale. The fourth unwritten tale 
is right here in the middle of Buddha's footprints. Keep going. Let your soul roam free. Dream of distant shores. Please, I can't anymore. Release your spirit! the last of them. What were the Mongols doing to you? The Eagle Tribe? Our monsters. They told us getting close to death strengthens the spirit. Or turns you into a shaman. It's madness. You're safe now. Just breathe. Be safe. I will deal with the Eagle Tribe in time. The next unwritten tale is roughly here, just northwest of Zasho Bay. His voice still haunts my mind. Are you all right? Have you heard of Gyozen, the blind chronicler of legends? Oh, yes. Some claim he is more than human, or less. His stories thrill me, yet his voice is supernatural. Have you heard the legend of the fire spirits of Yarikawa? I fled before he finished, but I must know how the story ends. Oh, I can recount it for you. I'm no Guzan, but I will do my best. What? Oh, thank you. As you know, Io was an Onibaba who gave birth to an inhuman army. Io's connection to Tsushima was severed, allowing the heroes to pursue the Onibaba to her realm and stop her once and for all. <gasps> Wonderfully told. Your depiction of Io's rage and her when the warriors made their final stand? Magnificent. Please, accept this gift for your trouble. It was my pleasure. White Kitsune mask worn by legendary assassins. It looks freaking amazing. And you want to know why? Because it is from the legend's... Uh, multiplayer mode that comes with Ghost of Tsushima. Uh, and this uh, Unwritten Tale basically is a connection to that mode because if you didn't play the mode or play the fi or that very specific mission, you wouldn't be able to complete this tale until you do so. Which is kind of unique that we're able to kind of do that where we can... Uh, it doesn't exactly force you. You don't have to technically do this one because this unwritten tale is technically the one that they uh, removed for the requirement to get the trophy. But it's still a very nice little thing to do. And if you have completed the Legends mode but replay the game from very, the very beginning, it still counts no matter what. So you don't have to replay the Legends mode again if you had already completed it at one point. So it's pretty nice. It is a pretty nice little nod to their multiplayer mode. Which is also quite fun. Both with randoms and with friends. More so with friends. I mean, everything is better with friends. But yeah, it's a nice little nod to that mode. And 
Yeah. <laughs> he said, yeah, like six times there, but yeah. <laughs> and the final unwritten tale is here at the Raider Memorial. But before we can actually go there and complete the tale, we must complete at least one of the many archery challenges across Iki Island. And in my case, I believe it is best that we complete all of them before we do the final unwritten tale. So that is what we're going to be doing next. And then we will return to over here. And once we do so, I'll explain how to activate the unwritten tale here. So yeah. If you can handle yourself in a fight, come here. Are you challenging me? That depends. Are you for or against these Mongols? Against. Then that's all I need to know. We set up archery targets around Iki to train for another samurai invasion. Instead, we got Mongols. If you're looking for practice, shoot an arrow through each lantern as fast as you can. I've shot warriors while riding on horseback. I think I can hit a few lanterns. Hitting them is one thing. Speed is another. When you're ready, grab an arrow. Charm of concentration. Increase concentration time. Increase concentration time by 0.2 seconds. And of course, as we complete other archery challenges, it improves the charm's concentration and makes it even stronger. Very useful to use in an archery build, which we're about to actually uh, switch it out. Once I, if I can find it real quick. And where are you? Ooh, there you are. Bam. Not gonna lie though, I probably could have gotten gold, but I messed up that last hit. Couple more goes and you'll get there. I'm going to attempt a second try to get gold on this one. And then we'll move on to the next one. Bam! I knew I could get gold on this one. I, I just had messed up at the first opportunity. But there we go. On to the next archery challenge. got that gold I nearly got that gold I think I want to try that again <laughs> Cute. 
<laughs> Told you he was good. Can't wait to get back out. Covered. Think we can go home. Now that I have gold on all seven archery challenges available to us, now we head to the last unwritten tale at the Radio Memorial, which unlocks the final archery challenge. And the way that it does that is by you, you have to wear Tadadori's armor here. The archer armor, basically. Because someone here that we speak to basically hates this guy and his legend. And because of that, we gain a new archery challenge. That was a good trick. Why are you wearing that? What, this armor? It belonged to Tadayuri Nago. How dare you wear that armor here, where we remember the brave men slain by your demon archer. A demon? No. Tadayuri saved the people of Azamo Bay from raiders. Disgusting lies and slander. Tadayuri only protected his people. He was a noble man, an excellent archer. I am sure you believe it, dressed in that insult you call armor. Do you walk around telling people his spirit and skill live on in you? No. I let my arrows do the talking. Draw your bow and prove it. I welcome a challenge. Very well, Tadayori Nagao. They say the demon could shoot faster than any archer. You will see lanterns around the memorial. Drive an arrow through each of them. I save my arrows for lanterns and Mongols. But the next time you think of insulting Tadayuri Nago, hold your tongue. I will, Sensei. Take this and leave me in peace. Charm of terrifying aim. When you kill an enemy with a headshot, there is a chance of terrifying a nearby enemy. It is a minor range charm. Though it's also great for a ghost build that uses a mix of melee and range, so not just as not, it's just not. It's good both for a range build and for a ghost build. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so, bam, and there we go. And of course, we can easily redo the challenge if we want to, but since we got gold, we don't need to. And let's take a look at the common courtesies. As we can see, all five of them have been completed, even though there was technically six of them, which I have shown and completed them all for you. So, bam. There we go. There we go. But yeah, the, I love how each of the uh, unwritten tales are open for you to discover at, by just exploring. Granted, obviously not since we are... Oh, I just collected a record by accident. Let's take a look, actually. Curse, my soul in this treasure, only Icky may take, 
My soul drive Mongol mad. Black hand Riku hound you, too. Be gone, Mongol. Iki, keep treasure safe. Interesting. I wonder if this was made, written by a child or somebody who doesn't, doesn't know how to write so well. I don't know. It's definitely a curse. It definitely sounds like a curse, someone would say. Interesting. But there we go. That is everything over here. But like I was saying, I like how all of them are... You can eat, just have to find them by searching them out. Obviously, nowadays, since the game's been out for, I think, I want to say three years now at this point, there's uh, online tutorials and such to teach you. But honestly, I implore you all to try to uncover their exact locations by themselves. So, yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's cool regardless if you have help finding them or you find them on your by yourself. They're they're fun to find, and it's very unique that they did that. I hope when they make a sequel that they have more unwritten tales or more like thing actions you can do in the natural world that's not tied to side missions or story missions and such, because it's just very it it makes the world a little bit bigger if that makes any sense. He wasn't supposed to be here. Taka brave. At the end. He was always brave. He was one of the best of us. R.I.P. Taka. And our to you, rest Lord. in peace, you. I will avenge your death just as I did with Takas. And with that, we conclude today's chapter of the ghost story. I hope you all enjoyed the chapter. I certainly did. Until next time, this is Ghost, signing out.